Hi, St. Monica families. This is Mrs. Last. I hope that the state of the school um, finds you doing well. I have a few updates. The weekly reminder was sent out to all of you. Ooh. Yes, I have my little girl, Anna, with me today. Um, so a couple of reminders. First and foremost, we will be in um, constant communication over the coming days as far as a safe return to school scheduled to be on 11-17. Um, which would be next Tuesday. So as we continue to get test results back from kiddos um, that we've asked to have be tested, I will talk with the medical advisory team and the health department in regards to next steps. So stay tuned for that. There's lots of um, important information in our weekly reminder. Please pay attention to um, all the information about our virtual auction and consider supporting us um, in our virtual auction this Saturday from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. But the live auction um, is up and running. So we start your bidding if you haven't done so already. We, um, I spoke in my note from Mrs. Last in the weekly reminder about our decision about athletics for this year. At this time, um, we have decided that we will allow hopefully just our eighth graders to participate in league basketball at St. Monica's. We um, made this decision based on teacher and parent surveys and conversations with our school commission, our athletic board. And then we also just know that there are a few other teams within our league that have agreed to also play, but only for their eighth graders. This decision isn't necessarily final. It's what, if I had to make a decision right now, um, what I would say, as we will continue to monitor COVID-19 and how that impacts our community and our school. But we want to hope and pray that we will be um, able to allow our eighth graders to play after January 4th. Yeah. Um, okay, so I also have a reminder about eighth grade. Um, they will be taking the pre-ACT test next Wednesday. Um, if anything with our return to school plan changes, I may push that back until after Thanksgiving, but our hope is that we will still be able to give that assessment to our eighth graders to help us make some informed decisions about math placement um, after Christmas break. There's a really nice article about raising grateful children um, by our guidance counselor in the weekly reminder. There's another spirit wear opportunity for you to have um, some spirit wear for your kids or for Christmas presents. Like I said, there's lots of information about the auction and I'm just looking forward to seeing all of you there at our virtual auction. We are so grateful for all of the parent support at recess. It's that tends to be um, the most challenging time when trying to just make sure that our mitigation strategies of safe distancing, um, mask wearing if, if it's needed, and then also just making sure that the kids are staying within their cohorts. So we're just so grateful for the extra set of hands out there. I know that sometimes they can seem kind of odd to be just like watching kids play, but it really is helpful to make sure that the kids are following the distancing guidelines. I think that is really all that I have for right now. Just know that your families are in my prayers. We're at home, we're safe, and we're working, and we're learning from home. Anna is one of the two players um, at St. Monica's that you see on my lap, and her twin sister is somewhere in the living room. So we hope that you are staying healthy, you're staying well. Please reach out to me. Yes, staying nice and healthy. Um, please reach out to me with any questions or concerns. And I will be frequently checking my email as well.